Hello guys, tonight it's Manchester United versus Bournemouth, so let's get into it. Let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Match Day Live, and it's me, Dan, back again. And the, tonight it's Manchester United versus Bournemouth. It is another midweek game, uh, as we do have the FA Cup this week. And I think we don't have an FA, I don't think we have a game till next week, because I think our next game in the league is City, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think it's City because we've got Everton after this game and then I think we've got Charlton in the League Cup. So, yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, uh, so the team, I think it pretty much is going to be the same apart from, obviously, Rashford starting this time. Um, I did feel sorry for Gnacho. He came off at half time in the game against Wolves. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's him again with Martial and Anthony and obviously Bruno Fernandes, Eriksen, Casemiro, Malassia Shaw... Varane and Juan Bezeka. Unless, you know, unless we see Martinez back, then obviously Shaw will go back to left back. Or we could see Harry Maguire or Lindelof play there. I'm not too sure. And obviously Delo is in training, but I don't think he's going to be match fit for this game. Whereas, you know, we've got um, Juan Bezeka who's, you know, he's been playing really good and I think he deserves his spot at the moment. So that's the team I've gone for. So let's get into it and let's play match. Let's talk about the last league result, which was a 1-0 victory over Wolves it was a very tight game it was quite an entertaining game especially second half um first half not much in it to be honest with you we did have a really good chance Ganacho um I think it's Samido who went for, uh, uh, you know who's pretty much uh, tried to back pass it back to the goalkeeper but Ganacho uh got it before the goalkeeper and to be honest I think Ganacho should score really um it's a good save from uh, Jose Sarr, uh, the uh, Wolves got a goalkeeper, but you know we should have. He should have. I think he should have scored that. You know, if it was Rashford, he probably would have scored that. But um, it's just unfortunate for the youngster, and uh, that could have been. You know, that could have eased our woes a bit in, especially in the first half, because the first half there weren't much in it to be honest. Um, and the only other chance that we had was a cross from Ganacho on that left hand side. He put a ball in towards, um, towards what's his name, Martial. Martial, how he didn't get a touch, I do not know. Um, he was so unlucky, but he, yeah, how he didn't get a touch, I do not know. But he should have scored. And, and then obviously it went through to Anthony, who was offside. But if Martial scored, it would have counted. Um, he's literally just a free header. All he had to do is either volley it or, you know, try and get something on it. And he didn't. And in the end, it's just unfortunate. Um, so, yeah, it finished half-time, nil-nil, and... Oh, really? Another corner. Um, half-time, it finished, nil-nil, and second half, obviously, we did see Rashford. Obviously, Rashford uh, was dropped because of internal disciplinary. Apparently, it's because... Um, What's his name? Overslept. Rashford overslept. But I think there's something more that in that. Um, but, you know, if he overslept, he overslept, then, you know, true that. But... Uh, yeah, it was just late for a meeting, team meeting or something, so he got dropped. So, it is, you know, it just makes you makes you laugh that, um, you know, he's he's a, he's, a, he's a scorer at the moment. So, it's quite surprising to see uh, Rashford come on and score. So, yeah, he came on at half-time and obviously he scored the first goal. Uh, it was Bruno, good play from Bruno Fernandes, uh, you know, really good goal uh, for him. A, a good play from Bruno Fernandes, 1-2 with Bruno Fernandes with Rashford, and then Rashford just goes through, holds off the defenders, and then literally puts it past Jose Sarr, and it was a really good goal, and it just showed what form he's on at the moment. He's, you know, you can't really drop him um, at the moment. You know, he's scoring for fun, so we, we need to start him every game, and um, we definitely, hopefully, we need him, yeah, to score again uh, tonight against... Uh, Bournemouth and obviously it's going to be uh, that you know Bournemouth it's going to be a weird game for Bournemouth but um, you know let's see what happens with that one uh, but yeah we, we uh, also <laughs> you know we scored that goal with 1-0 and then obviously uh, Wolves started going for it in the second half as well because we got that uh, goal like pretty much early on in the second half um, so you know we still had quite a long time to um, go through the half you know second half and 
you know, the, we had a couple of saves. David De Gea made some really good saves in that second half, especially early, um, late on. Uh, but he did have a free kick against Ruben Neves, and it was a good save from him. And, um, you know, Wolves, obviously, we got they kind of got into the game um, once we scored. And, you know, we kind of let them have the ball, and then we pretty much went for the counter-attack. And uh, we did get a second goal through Rashford as well. I think it's down the right-hand side, Anthony... Uh, put the ball into Rashford. Uh, no, it wasn't Anthony. It was uh, Aaron Wambasako who put the ball into Rashford. And uh, Rashford went on to score. But it was deemed as an accidental handball, which I kind of see why it was given. But it's really silly. It's really silly, those handballs, I think. Um, I think we, you know, I think we should have easily... Uh, if it was 2-0, uh, you know, it came off his arm, but then it came off his leg. So, you know, it can you could see... You can see why, it, you know, why it was not given. But it's a bit harsh, I think. And it's been a couple of times that we've had goals like that. So, yeah, it's just annoying that we, uh, that we, you know, um, that we didn't score. You know, Rashford didn't score his second goal. If it was 2-0, um, you know, it's pretty much done and dusted. So, obviously, late on as well, um, Wolves did have a massive chance from a corner. I can't remember who headed it, but uh, it was a great chance. And there's a great save from... Rashford, uh, a great save from De Gea, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just one like a what really good, uh, really good save from David De Gea, and pretty much he got the clean sheet as well, uh, which was nice to see. Um, so yeah, it was just, we was just, um, it wasn't, it wasn't the best of games, but you know, it was a good game nonetheless. It was end to end pretty much that second half. The second half, you know, made it a bit more. First half was more of a midfield battle and. Not many chances in the game, but second half was much better. And uh, in the end, I think in the end, I think we deserved it. But, you know, Wolves were unlucky as well uh, not to get a point because maybe they should have got a point there. But we always seem to struggle at um, at uh, the Molyneux Stadium. So, yeah, it was just annoying. But we are back tonight. We do have a Bournemouth, obviously Bournemouth. Um, I actually forgot to see who Bournemouth had at the weekend. I didn't know. Uh, if they won or not, <laughs> I'll have to have a look in a second. Um, but yeah, Bournemouth, it's going to be a hard game, I reckon, because obviously Bournemouth, it depends what Bournemouth turns up. If there's, you know, if it's a championship side Bournemouth, then, you know, anything is possible. And we could, you know, it, I think we'll be, have most of the ball most of the game because obviously it is at home. But we just need to be wary that, you know, um, they can hit us on the counter. And, you know, we need to pick up the points, uh, especially if we go... Um, if we win tonight as well, we'll go third. So, you know, it's kind of good as we as well at the weekend because um, Spurs lost against Aston Villa, didn't they? And then uh, Chelsea drew, Tottenham, uh, yeah, Tottenham lost, Tottenham lost, Newcastle drew, and uh, who else was it? Yeah, Tottenham lost, Newcastle drew, and even Chelsea drew. So that was not too bad. But obviously, we need to keep winning, and fingers crossed, we can do that. Uh, again tonight and then obviously the main game will be that um will be that game against city and obviously we've got city and arsenal at the end of the month so yeah we definitely need to focus on that but we do have fa cup this weekend as well we've got everton on friday night it's a friday night game um so it's not the best not the best of games to have really because we've got a tuesday night and then we've got a friday night um obviously because of tv they wanted the man united everton game on tv um so that's annoying uh, but yeah, it, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. And, uh, you know, we should, we sh we sh on paper, we should win the next two games, uh, obviously, because, you know, Everton are not playing that well at the moment. They're currently in a, like the relegation part at the moment down in the bottom of the, um, bottom of the, um, what's it, Majiggy? The bottom of the table. So that's going to be interesting, but, uh. That's that. And also, obviously, Happy New Year, guys. I wanted to wish you a Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a nice uh, New Year's Eve. I know I did, <laughs> That's to say the least. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, uh, just, yeah, just Happy New Year. And, obviously, uh, obviously, New Year, new football. And, obviously, with the New Year, it does open the transfer window as well. And, obviously, the main, main really, the main talking points of transfers at the moment is... Um, is uh, Jao Felix and the other one, obviously, uh, that's come up again is um, obviously that Enzo Fernandez, but we're not paying 120 million for his release clause. Um, I think 
I think there's talk of Chelsea doing that more than anyone at the moment. And um, obviously the main man, De Jong, apparently has come out again today that he wants to leave. And apparently it's come out again today that Barcelona need to sell players again. So... I don't know what happens with that one. I'm not too sure, but I think you know the, the papers are just bringing out a load of rubbish just to you know make obviously Man United uh, want players. But I doubt we'll, like I said, I doubt we'll sign anyone this month. But let's see. Uh, so yeah, Bournemouth. It's going to be a hard game. You just don't know what hap what's going to happen. Um, I think United will win. I think it's going to be like a 2-0, something like that, for the score prediction. So that's my score prediction for today. 2-0, I reckon Rashford will score, and then maybe Runo or uh, Martial will score. But uh, let's see what happens with that. So, yeah, for my score prediction, I'm going to go 2-0 Man United. I think we'll get a clean sheet as well. I think it'll be an easy game, to be honest. It's going to be like a... It's going to be like that Nottingham Forest game. Um, once we get that first goal, I think we'll get a second goal. So... It's just like that, really. Um, so, yeah, that is going to be it for today. So, please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your score prediction below. So, right, guys, I'm going. Bye.